Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's going on, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti. I'm back at home having a few beers. Uh, today, I figured I'd try out a Belgian beer. It's called Cherry Schoof. Now, this beer is from Brasserie de Chouf in Belgium. It's a fruit or, or, or field beer. And it says, The gnomes love a Chouf beers, but they also appreciate the juicy cherries that grow in their land of fairies. This year, the Chouf gnomes gathered the cherries and stored them in the brewery loft. The old ceiling collapsed under the weight of the fruit. The cherries fell into the vat of McShoof that was being prepared. The mischievous gnomes said nothing about it. Surprised to discover a glowing red beer with fruity taste. The master brewer finally decided to transfer it to barrels. Untapped, it's got a much longer blurb. And this says, Toward the end of the 1970s, Pierre Gabon, Gabron and Christian Bauerwatz two brothers-in-law, decided to create their own beer in their own brewery. With initially only a small amount of money available to them, 200,000 BFR, whatever that was, it's definitely something before the Euro, which is less than 5,000 Euro. They started out on what the fans of the brewery call the Schoof story. At the beginning, its founders thought of it as a hobby. But the brewery developed at such a rate that one by one they decided to devote themselves to the adventure full time. The first Brazen, which is brewing mix, of La Chouf, which is their original beer, was finished on 27th August 1982. The elves of Achouf were impatient to discover new countries, and their Dutch cousins were the first to give them a warm welcome. Even today, the Netherlands is a major destination of Achouf beers outside of Belgium. Nowadays, more than 20 countries worldwide are supplied with our nectar. From the Ardennes Forest, coveted international awards have also been received year after year to reward the unique taste. At the end of the summer of 2006, the founders of the brewery chose to entrust the future of their dear elves to the Duvel Mortgat Brewery. The group's wish to invest in a shoof and to develop the full potential of the brewery. So, on a side note, a shoof, a shoof, it's kind of like a slang for a gnome. But in my experience, any beer you see with like this Schuf name and this weird kind of bottle is an excellent, excellent beer. Now on the crown, you've got Brasserie de Schuf from Belgium. And it's two little gnomes with some cherries. I'll try to get a good picture of that, show you all. And uh, let's see if I can figure out how to open this beer better than the last one I did. So on tap, surprisingly, it's only gets a 3.67. And on Beer Advocate, it gets an 88. Very good. One of these days, I'll get a better bottle opener. But we'll work with what we got, right? So, got my Connoisseur Beer Goblet. And this is from the... Uh, Columbus Winter Beer Festival. Anyways, let's pour this beer out here. Wow, that definitely looks like cherry juice. I mean, that's a bright, or a dark, I'm sorry. I don't know the difference between bright and dark. It's a dark ruby red color. I'm gonna jump in here on the SRM scale. I'm gonna give this beer, I think this beer is about a 27 on the SRM. I mean, that looks like cherry juice. It's like a nice uh, reddish hued head. That smells like candied cherries. That smells like fresh cherries. That's just straight up cherry. That smells amazing. If this beer tastes anything like the way it smells, it's going to be phenomenal. I can just sit here and sniff this beer all day long. I mean, that's just like pure cherry juice in the, in the nose. 
But let's get into this because as good as it smells, if this tastes like cherry juice, it's going to be phenomenal. Wow. That is carbonated cherry juice. That is absolutely phenomenal. Carbonated cherry juice. I mean, this beer says cherry. It is cherry. It is absolutely delicious. I mean, that's just fizzy cherry. Cherry juice. I mean, I, I, there's no other better description for it than cherry juice. That is amazing. Now, this beer is 8% alcohol. No idea. Would never guess that. This is a dangerous beer. I mean, this is a double thumbs up. Amazing beer. If you like cherries, this is for you. Wow, I can't say enough good about this beer. I hope you can't say enough good about me. If you like these videos, please hit subscribe. I know I'm just starting out. And I really appreciate the uh, 30 of you that are actually subscribed to me and maybe the five or six of you that watch my videos. And Please comment down below if you have anything to say. You want to talk about music. You want to talk about beers. Love to interact with you. And if you really like this video, give me a like. Like I said, give me a subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. I don't know, man. I did... This beer is phenomenal.